So as we just cross the pretty much halfway mark of 2022, one thing that I have to acknowledge is that the Lumix S5 has become my go-to a camera exclusively for all my paid gigs and honestly even for YouTube. Now as someone that filmed with the GH5 and the GH4 and also dabbled with several Sony cameras, you know, the S5 really has just done it for me. So I thought in today's video we'd spend some time and I would show you guys some footage that I have shot exclusively with my S5. I'll do my best to kind of give you the lens and settings package coming up next. <laughs> So one of the biggest events that I've done so far in 2022 is an event recap video for K9 Social here in Jacksonville, Florida. Now that being said, it was a combination of my GH5 and my S5 and my DJI Maverick uh, drone. But to be honest with you, most of the time I was leaning on Old Faithful, the Lumex S5. And specifically, most likely I was going to be shooting with the 24 to 105 or the 70 to 200. Now, as you guys can see some of the footage that's running here, I was completely thrilled with it. Now, both shooting during the day and at night, I had no problem getting great focus, getting exposure correct. Now, I do have to admit, I was shooting with a monitor, which I think helps. And most of you guys out there, if you're shooting gigs for cash, you need to have yourself a monitor and you'll also look more pro. But you know, over and over when I was kind of going back in the editing process and looking at the footage time and time again, I was completely thrilled with how the colors looked, how the slow-mo came out. Everything honestly looked fine in my book. And I did use the old uh, Nifty 50 F 1.8 as well, but I tended to lean on the telephoto lenses mainly because for that particular event, you guys can see I had crowds that I was uh, dealing with from time to time and having some zoom uh, ability um, at your disposal is gonna be one thing that really comes in handy now both of those lenses f4 so take that in consideration but uh, i was thrilled with the footage another project that i had at the beginning of the half of the year and this was another event recap one that the footage was just actually be used for projects down the road but you guys can see here we have a lot of slow-mo footage people looking good in focus everything's great once again shooting with the s5 same setup here a lot of footage was going to be with the 24 to 105 or the 70 to 200 mainly because we're at an event and we need to be able to kind of be a little bit more discreet and be at back of the room kind of going around and uh you know that is an example of what footage would look like in more of a controlled indoor environment for those that might be wondering now project number three this is something that was fun super quick was i happy with the results absolutely but this is a project that i shot with my brother-in-law um he pressure washed my house so in return i made him a quick little ad for his pressure washing company and you guys can kind of see this footage i shot really quickly on the s5 using the 24 to 105 outdoors not the ideal kind of weather conditions or at least sunny conditions but it gives you an example of all handheld what you can get out of this camera now a project that's been very unique and has been fun so far to do is i have been collaborating with Movo Photo. And uh, here's a little preview of a video that I've been filming specifically with my S5 as my ACAM. And there I'm kind of more going the route of doing tutorials, uh, more kind of educational style of videos where I teach people uh, in regards to video or photo and kind of how to do nifty things with your cameras and some of the basics. And I've been very happy with the results so far. Now this is something that's on a tripod shot with the 24 to 105 at 
at an F4 or an F, anywhere from F4 to F5, and uh, more talking head stuff, but you guys can see the results that you can get with that S5. And I wanna say for this, we're shooting 10-bit uh, 4K 422. And leading me to the most recent projects that I've been kind of collaborating on, and this one's a fun one, using the S5 as well, and that's going to be shooting some board game content. Now the goal here is to shoot 60 second videos, 30 second videos, and 15 second videos. And you guys can see some of the footage here. A lot of it is going to be on tripods, it's gonna be on a slider, some handheld, but the most kind of guaranteed thing we're trying to look for here is completely steady shots, in focus, beautiful colors, beautiful backgrounds and settings to kind of, uh, you know, um, complement those games that people are going to be possibly buying here in the future. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an understanding of some S5 projects that I've been working on here recently. I do have a super huge project coming up. Actually, take that back. I've got one, two, three, then I got four big projects uh, to round out the year on top of kind of my normal usual. And it should be really fun, super exciting. Gonna be using the S5 as the A-cam, taking the GH5. Some of it's gonna be event stuff. Some of it's actually going to be some more scripted out uh, fun. We're gonna do some whip pans. We're gonna be kind of doing some speed ramping, things of that nature, having some real fun with this camera. Uh, but the event recaps are gonna be fantastic. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna be still collaborating with Movo. We're gonna be collaborating with Quackalope and doing board games and all that content being uh, kind of filmed and spearheaded with the old S5. So um, more of just a ramble today. Hopefully that uh, you guys enjoyed that. But as always, guys, it's Trey Lowell with Lowell Productions. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content we keep creating here on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to drink my Bud Light Seltzer and start to clean up this super dirty, just beat up studio. Side note, you want to see something cool? Check out this light behind me. Brighter. It's my Wii light. Got it hooked up through the old Bluetooth, and then bam. Well, that's if just the power. Power! But if we want to just kill it, boop! There we go. Yeah, and I've been using that overhead lighting settings or set up uh, for those board games. Um, try not to get any reflections. Um, so far, I think it's working pretty well. All right, peace out.